Welcome back to the life on my homestead. So this is the part two of the May Garden Tour. Let's see what's happening in the polytunnel and the three greenhouses in this video. Okay, come in. So we've got six raised beds in the polytunnel. The winter spring crops are now getting over, going to seed. Some of them are still good, but I need a space now for the summer crop, like tomatoes. So just to show you the difference between the two beds, I've already put the summer autumn crop in this bed. As you can see, we've got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tomatoes in here planted, all different varieties. I like these in the mix things. So when they start to produce, they all look all different shapes and sizes and colors. I just love them. So I've left the, the coriander, it's going to seed now, but it's still good and edible. And actually I've just done, uh, I preserved it with, by freezing. So I just had a couple handful of coriander, about five, six juice of lime juice and about half a cup of garlic, blitz it together. Did I put oil in it or not? I might have put some bit of an olive oil as well, yeah. Put them in an ice, ice cube trays in a freezer. A couple of days later, just flick them out and in a freezer bag. And now I'm back in the freezer. And they are delicious when you want to make anything with these flavors, especially curries, or probably I'm going to use it. So yeah, this is the, my tomato. I've got the campanian plants. I've got Celia, Calendula, I've got lemon balm there, dill growing in here and the nasturtium. You know, I love all these. Marigold, you know, I forgot to sow. Need to sow some marigolds. I'm sure if it's gonna be too late now. So this side needs doing. So it will look like the tomato side. So I've got all the spinaches, dill, more coriander, lattices, fennel. It's all now going to seed, gone to seed. Uh, Swiss chard uh, and then this will look the same with different varieties I probably I think I've got about 50 to 60 tomato plants I'm growing this year about 20 different varieties so it's yeah super exciting these two beds are not going to be tomatoes this year this is going to be a sweet potato bed at the moment if you come closer and what i've just told you about the transplanting to the brassica cage the cabbages so these are the two cabbages what actually oh this is this is getting close but it's not ready yet look beautiful cabbage so i think now it's too late it's too far to transplant in and you know when i need the space so but yeah i think i'll leave it for another month and before i put the sweet sweet potatoes in and i i planted these garlic i think it was december or early this year and look how beautiful they're ready to harvest soon amazing i know I, uh, they, they put a bit too much it was an experiment this year to be honest i didn't i've not done this before the next bed is going to be i think i might try might leave a few sorrel remove the rest and I've got a blue gherkin, cucumber maybe, trailing up on these strings, because I've done really well last year. And this, I've got again, mm, onions in here, mostly red onions, on my own seed from last year. So these two beds probably will stay for another three weeks before I do anything to it. Watch this, of course. But these two beds have been done. This was, in here was full of lattices, spinaches, chard, and all sorts. So this, this one is looking good. Again, I've got quite a few tomato plants. I put a few okra in here. Uh, okra is coming up already. Uh, some dill, nasturtium, glandula, poppies, a few. And I've got the same problem again with the cabbage. I've got another huge cabbage growing in here. It's in a way for the tomatoes, but I left it for now because this is, it's gonna be ready fairly soon. And purple sprouting broccoli, it's just coming up. I've just seen a few now coming. So 
I've not had a heart to pull that out. So at the moment, I'm just gonna have to live with it. So this is the polytunnel. This is getting really warm in here now, actually, when the sun's out. So that's what I've been weeding out. Let's see what's in this greenhouse. Right. Just to tell you, I have not sown one seed of nasturtium in this greenhouse. It just happened, right? Volunteered. So this is a nasturtium greenhouse. I've been removing them um, as much as we need, or I gave, give, it, give it away some to the friends. But yeah. Hello, Lucy Bear. Hello. You okay? Good girl. This side, don't jump. Wait. This side we're going to have probably I'm gonna have a few tomatoes and peppers and chilies maybe. Or I've not decided on but that's need need only this now needs clearing out. This needs clearing out and we're gonna have either peppers, tomatoes and chilies in here. And this side, yeah, I don't know yet. I think I'm just gonna cut it back. Maybe I'll leave two corners and put some more tomatoes or something in the middle so yeah this needs lots of work let's check the last uh, next two greenhouses well i've noticed we've got some cherries on those trees you never had some cherries on them apple we're going to have i've not had a time to show you that raised beds in, in a fruit cage but i'll make another video we're gonna have very good year on berries especially strawberries and apple welcome to the pretty greenhouse so that's where i uh, that's that's how i grew all my tomato plants so they started off in a seed on a heat mat in a house and the grow light and eventually they came out here and they are looking so ready to planting out. So these, these will go to the polytunnel and to that greenhouse where the nasturtium is. So there's many tomatoes in here. I've got a few broccoli, or they, these, I need to do something with these now. I've got cauliflower, Brussels sprouts and more cauliflower. And these are the sweet potatoes what I bought from the shop. And again, left it in water, shoots, rooted soil experiment let's see they're not looking the greatest but we'll see what's happened on this side we've got peppers uh, chilies and basil i love basil yeah chilies and peppers not great, not doing great this year unfortunately look at these pathetic plants and hard time with the peppers and chilies Sunflowers, kale looking good. These peppers are looking all right. I think I'm gonna transplant them now and see what's happened. Oh gosh, oh, we're gonna have some peppers this year. Got some okra, I'm experimenting again. So that's how I do, do see the sweet potato from the shop. Put it in a cup of water, roots, and then set shoots. And then the shoots are sort of tall enough. I'll just put them separate. And then when they root it, give roots and then I just plant them in the pot. Got some celery going on in here, sweet corn, a few backup sweet corn on the top. Yeah, really good. In the last greenhouse, we've got a little bit of a mixture, but mainly the cucurbits. So all the squashes, pumpkins, lemon cucumber, lufa, zucchini. Yeah, uh, I've got gherkins and cucumbers here they will be going out in june to the garden i've got some courgette and all different varieties of squash these are my uh, chilies jalapeno sunflower they really need to go out i've got a few cauliflower that's very pretty need to go to the brass, uh, brassica cage and i've got more squash and cucumber in here and this side we've got the tomatillo lots of tomatillos and more cucumber courgette squash we've got uh, what's this cabbages a few more tomato plants and kohlrabi what do you think 
That keeps me busy. Yeah, very busy. This time of the year is the busiest. Um, everything I'm doing really well. Obviously, it's light, 9 p.m. till 9 p.m. Uh, so everything just growing so fast now. We have no frost. Another thing to mention, I've been really chuffed. We had no frost in May, so that's amazing. I think our last frost was in, I think it was end of April, 30th of April. And yeah, we didn't even have super cold nights. I think the five, six degrees Celsius was the coldest, so it's, it's really good. So all this keep me busy and see you back in June, can't believe it. So until then, happy gardening everyone. Bye.